Hi everyone and welcome. Today a totally different video. We are dissecting my dead 50mm. So if you ever wondered how do you unscrew the lens and take it apart without necessarily putting it together, this will be something for you. I just dropped the lens by accident and it was just making a weird sound when it was focusing. After a while it simply went dead. Let's put this apart. I bought myself a set of some small jewelry screw drivers fully open f1.8 focused on infinity pretty much useless unfortunately the cost of the repair too much let's see what's inside this is a great option if the screwdriver is too little I obviously won't fix this anymore but I don't care and one of those little pieces is broken. Let's see which one. This is unbuyable in the end. Half of the gears is missing. So it just simply didn't spin. If there would be one teeth that is missing from this gear, it eventually could work. But without that, as you can see here, no can do. And this is what was broken in my lens. So guys, now you can see how precise this is being done. The precision of that is uncanny. Like this isn't 3D, 3D printing or anything like that. This is why it didn't work. And everything, it's pretty much here. You can see the whole module. Rotary, rotary engine, small, electrical, that spins everything around. So as you can see, still we have this ring from the original here. We can move it barely, but we can. We got still the mechanism for the manual focus, because this is what we are all about. The aperture, well, I don't care. 1.8, this way about 50mm anyway, but at least I will be able to use it later on. And here we have a screw that is actually blocking the focus, as you can see here. Okay, I need this because here are the screws for the mechanism and I won't be able to put in this purely on that. How can I easily focus with that ring? We can just glue something together or let me think about this for a minute. So let's turn on the camera with the lens and now it's asking me if there is a lens. Yeah, there is. Let's get the live view. And there you have it. It works. Unfortunately, there is zero zero for the aperture because there is no signal being detected because there is no signal to be detected from because everything is ripped apart. 